I'm here today to talk to you about a controversial bed adhesion technique known as hairspray. Here's the reality. Nerds on the internet might put you down for using hairspray or glue stick, but the facts are it does help, especially in small detailed parts or just small overall prints. It can help you get that extra stick. But what I'm going to talk to you about is the particular hairspray you use. This is a cheap hairspray. It's like $2 at the Mart of Wall. This is a much more expensive hairspray. It's like $7 at the Mart of Wall. When you choose your hairspray, I don't want you to buy the cheapest one available. I want you to do two things. Turn it over, look at the back of the cheap hairspray. You'll see first ingredient, water. Pick up other hairsprays, turn them over, look at the back. First ingredient, SD alcohol, okay? So I want you to grab a hairspray that's first ingredient is not water. Then you're gonna do the spray test. And this is what you're gonna find out on these cheap hairsprays. You get a real garbage spray. Do you see how thick and fat that was? It pretty much sprayed blobs. You don't want that. Yes, I used shop towels instead of paper towels. Link in the description below. Now watch the difference with a high quality, more expensive hairspray. You see the fine mist? That's what you want, that fine mist. So what you want is a smooth, thin, even consistent layer of hairspray just to help keep those little tiny contact points put or your little gentle supports put for your small parts or parts that just aren't cooperating. And you're not gonna get that with cheap dollar, two dollar hairspray. The ingredients are crap, the spray is crap. The more expensive hairspray has better ingredients, sprays evenly, a nice gentle mist, and you're gonna have better success.